what is going on beautiful people it's your boy blue welcome back to microsoft flight simulator this is the piper pa34 seneca 5 by carinado Known as the Little Big Twin, the Seneca 5 has two 220 horsepower turbocharged engines with counter-rotating propellers, flying you and up to five passengers as high as 25,000 feet at a top speed of 204 knots and as far as 824 nautical miles. This plane is perfect for VFR and IFR cross-country flights, and you can add this aircraft to your virtual hangar for $29.99. USD from the in-game marketplace. So is it worth it? As usual, I'll give you my final rating at the end of the video, but first, features include five liveries, a GNS 530 and 430 avionics, S Tech 55 autopilot and ADF, DME, a weather radar, GTX 330 transponder, high quality sounds recorded directly from the real aircraft, realistic flight dynamics, weight and balance, tested by several real world pilots, PBR materials and textures, and a custom tablet interface for controlling static elements, opening doors, and starting options such as code and dark and ready for taxi. So the usual Carinado features. Visually, Carinado never disappoints with their 3D modeling and PBR texture work. Inside and out, this is a great replica of the Piper Seneca. The exterior is spot on and they've done an excellent job inside as well. I love how the tables fold out and you can close the sunshades. I see they added some character to the textures. Some scratches in the carpet give it a slightly used feel. Not too shiny, I can dig it. My only complaint here is that that the massive engine makes for horrible visibility out the windows, but that's just a Seneca characteristic. Now for frame rate, it seems they did a pretty good job with optimization because on my PC, the frame rate is the same as the Piper Seminole, which is also equal to the frame rate of the default TBM and CJ4. So next up is systems. Let me remind you that this is not a study level aircraft and it is not trying to be. So systems wise, this aircraft is exactly what we expect from Carinado. But they did surprise us with a weather radar function that operates the same as the default one, which is pretty basic, but still kind of cool. This aircraft is also using the default autopilot system, but I would strongly recommend downloading the free GNS 530 mod. It makes a huge difference. Carinado also said that they are working on making all their aircraft compatible with the free GTN 750 mod for Microsoft Flight Simulator. I'll leave the links in the description for both of those mods. But before we move on, I had a couple of issues I want to point out. Like the VFR button on the transponder doesn't work correctly and the alternate air lever doesn't seem to do anything. So I wasn't able to complete my full run-up procedure. Also, there are quite a few in-op buttons around the cockpit. All right, let's talk about physics and flight model. Honestly, I have flown on this plane more with one engine than with two in my testing but it flies really well even on one engine the counter rotating props are spinning towards the fuselage making it easier to control with a single engine and avoid vmc and spinning out of control i also love how the dead engine's propeller continues to windmill in the air and it's actually possible to air start an engine while airborne. With two engines though, it gets up to speed pretty fast, which is great for short runways, and has a really powerful climb performance. But I think it stalls too aggressively, just like Carinado's Piper PA-28. I also had trouble getting it to spin under VMC or minimum control speed. Now as far as difficulty, this plane is extremely easy to learn and to fly, so no worries there for new players. And like I said before, you can buy this plane from the marketplace for $29.99 and it installs right into your simulator automatically after purchase. So finally, that brings us to sound.
I think they did an okay job this time with the sounds a bit generic and some of the levels seem way off but they are indeed custom sounds. So my final rating for this aircraft is going to be 3.2 out of five stars. This plane actually grew on me. The more I learned about it, the more I enjoyed it. I really do like it, but it's not my favorite. It's not groundbreaking but it's also not bad. I do think it's fairly priced, but if you are still on the fence about this plane, I would recommend waiting for this to go on sale. But as always, I would love to hear your feedback, thoughts, and opinions. And remember, you have three choices. Give up, give in, and give it all you got. Peace, love, and God bless you. I will see you guys next time, next video. I'm out.